Everybody, Dozer03 here, and I was gonna put this game down. It's so damn hard. I was gonna be like, ah, we'll save the last two hours for whatever. I just want to show you this. We completed our 2015 defense of our ultimate season, and we have a pack opening, of course. I also did some objectives, and I'm currently done, as you can see, with all the objectives. And we're gonna open a pro pack too because it came with it. On um, yeah, I'll show you the team after. So let's see. We'll start with our season silver. That's kind of the worst thing we have. And Silver's... Oh, a Season Silver. We pulled a Gold Ted Ginn Jr. That's actually a really good pull for the current state of Madden. That's actually going to really help. So does that mean we can pull Elites and Golds? That is the question, and that's something we might find out. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Now, he's only available for the Gold Player trade-in. So I'm just going to save that as a good backup to have. And Double Gold. Let's get into that, too. Brandon Albert, nice, that's a nice card, and Benjamin Watson. All right, that's actually an upgrade at tight end. So I like that pull a lot. I think I'm probably gonna keep Hunter Henry, but we'll see. There we go, I really like that. I was looking at that in the auction house earlier and I was considering buying it, but we got it. The Falcons alternate classic, awesome pull right there. Jo oh, there we go, guys. Jarvis Landry, 81 overall. I'm going to come back to watching this, and I'm just going to start laughing at myself for freaking out over an 81. That is a sick pull. We're going to promote that to our starting wide receiver, and that boosts us to a 76. That's a great pull, guys. Mark Mariani. That's a good kick return card. So, great pull with Mariani. Ultimate team tips. I don't know what these tips are for. That's why I'm saving them, because I don't want them to make a set for something, and I get robbed. Can we clutch it out with another gold? Let's find out. No, Dontrell Inman. What a pro pack, though, because at this current early stage of Madden, an 81 receiver, man, that's going to help. So let's look at the roster, guys. Um, I think Odo might make a better slot receiver than Crabtree would. Crabtree, yeah, see, Crabtree's a little slower, less spec catch, less route running. Actually, Crabtree's a worse overall receiver, and if it's only two receivers, I want Odo. So Odo will actually be our number two behind Jarvis Landry. Now, that is a really nice pull, guys, getting Jarvis Landry. I know it seems like nothing, but let me tell you, that's actually a really nice pull. That's our first over 80 in the game. Now, actually, Brian Quick sucks. This guy drops everything. What's his catch? Actually, I don't know. But we're going to go with Ted Ginn Jr. at receiver four. Which means Crowder will switch with Quick. Man, guys, it is so hard to put this game down, man. I was going to... I'm like, you know what? Let's, let's rest Madden a little bit. That decision lasted all of like 20 minutes probably all right so we're gonna get fitz magic right there as our backup and brandon albert is a left tackle i believe that we pulled and you can see the use isn't quite there so now let's see what he is at guards and stuff oh, okay so he's not usable guard he's a 55 guard now, I mean, it's always good for depth, though, to have Brandon Albert, definitely, but he's not really usable for anything, so we're going to go see if we can auction him. I don't remember. No, I didn't pull him in the pro pack. He was part of the gold pack, so he's probably not even auctionable, but I'll show you the team anyway. I didn't show you the defensive side. So that is the offense as it stands. Jarvis Landry was an awesome pull to add to our team. There we go. Another big playmaker. This is the defense with the Morgan Burnett. I have Luis Delmas and Kendrick Lewis at safety for some defensive help. Um, I got McCordy. I don't know if you guys were there for that. Now, Kendrick Lewis is actually a better corner, so we're going to throw Kendrick Lewis in. Now, the fact that my CBs are safeties is pretty concerning, actually. But we're going to have to roll with it for now. And obviously, this Madden video is going to be put up a little later, probably Saturday or Sunday, because I'm trying to keep it so that... I can try to get steady streams of this game up until Monday with the last two hours I have to play. Now, Quick is not a good returner. Now, Landry's an 85, so Landry's really going to help us there. Uh-oh, if you swap... Yeah, I click swap. That's why I'm going to... you got to watch me click, because if you click swap in depth chart, that means he replaced him. So, Quick is now my receiver one, so I'm going to change that in a second. Now, again, all your data carries over. So, definitely, guys, go crazy, man. Do as much Madden as you possibly can. Because all your data carries over. You don't have to worry about any issues when you go to pick up your game. 
come release date. Anything you do right now in your 10 hour free trial will carry right on over into the game. Okay. There we go, guys. That is your depth chart. I don't know if this is the last video I'm going to bring you. It depends what I can get done in the next two hours. I'm actually probably going to put the game away for now. I got you guys one more video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, really nice pull there with that Jarvis Landry, though. Really nice pull. Um, that's going to help us for probably a decent amount of time because I'm not buying receivers anymore. I have Landry, Odell, and Crabtree. That's going to serve me very well. And Hunter Henry has performed extremely well. But it looks like Watson's actually a much better tight end. So I'm going to have to go with... I don't want to do it because I really like Hunter Henry. But they do run the same camp too. So no difference there. We're going to have to switch and go with Benjamin Watson with Hunter Henry as our backup. Now the card actually on Hunter Henry. I'll just read it to you here. If I can, let me go to it. I kind of learned something interesting here. Basically with the Hunter Henry card. I hate the new way they do it. I wish I could just look back compare now if you look at hunter henry i don't think he's gonna up down the year look what it says this player is eligible to receive updates if he receives a team of the week or football outsider so if he has a god week and gets to 90 overall they're gonna bump that up to a 90 is that's what i'm taking out of reading that i don't know if that's how it's gonna work but that's what i'm getting out of the little paragraph so if he gets a really good team of the week or football outsider i'm gonna get that boosted for free so that's why you guys should do the rookie editions in Madden 16. It's not too late. Actually, it's never too late. So go and do those, guys. If you didn't get the EA Pass like I was lucky enough to be able to get, if you can't do it, guys, get sell your whole team in Madden 16. It doesn't matter when 17 comes out. Sell your whole team, guys, and get one of those rookies. Because let's say guys like Ezekiel Elliott, Jalen Ramsey, Jared Goff, they're kind of bound to get a team of the week or football outsider. And if you do, they get automatically bumped up free of any cost. So I can turn this, if I get super lucky, into a 90 or higher. Even doing it into an 80 or higher would be really nice. So definitely, guys, do your best to get one. That's what I tried to do. I wanted just to have one in my collection so I could experiment with it throughout the season. Obviously, now, if he doesn't do anything this year, well, that's I'm shit out of luck on that one. And, you know, he did nothing. So yeah, this is the team. And this is might be the last Madden video. I'm not really sure. We will have to see what else happens. But guys, I hope you enjoyed another Madden early video. Until next time, guys, Dozer03 signing out.